Yeah. Mike, you're 23. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Good. I love you guys' show. Thanks. Um, I, my question is uh, probably for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, I prematurely ejaculate, and I always have. And my question is, uh, what kind of uh, person do I need to see for treatment for this, or what can I do to try to fix this problem? What have you tried? Um, I haven't tried a lot. Uh, there's a, a technique where you, like, try to hold it. Yeah. Um, you do that, like, three times. Um, what do you mean you try to hold it? Well, like... Um, Inch it off? No. No. Uh, it's actually like a, a masturbation technique. Yeah. Um, where, like, right before you're about to, to let go, you, you stop... And yeah, you, and, you, and then you wait until it calms down. Then you uh, right. do that again. Yeah, you've done, yeah. you done that when you're with someone. Um, yeah, but not very many times. Not like probably like once. You can't do the three times. You do just the one time. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't really done that when I was with somebody. Um, How fast do you go when you're with somebody? Uh, pretty quick. Uh, sometimes it, sometimes um, it would be just during foreplay. Like if my my penis touches somebody's leg, sometimes it'll happen. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a, there, there's there's two things in life that really don't have a whole lot to do with the person, but they're in and and they're very tragic, but they're infinitely funny, and we have a green light to laugh at as a society. Fat people and guys who come too quick. Yep. And and I I really I really there's it's a complete roll of the dice. The penis Mike has, you know, against the against the chick's kneecap, as opposed to some guy who goes all night. Right. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's... And he sees some poor kid who's a big fat mess at 15. And he sees some other guy who's a skinny rail. Just roll the dice. That's right. It's your, it's your clock. But yet, we got the green light to make fun of both of them. And so, Mike, this may just be you. and you need. To, oh, it is. You need to find ways to manage this, really. Okay. Nothing really is going to change it. There are medications that might. The serotonin reuptake inhibiting antidepressants sometimes can delay this. Well, how about a second round? I mean, have or a, a third, third round. round. Yeah. Uh, it's usually pretty quick the same time, the second time even, too. What about third time? Uh, third time might be a little bit longer. Well, by, by then he's flooded the room with semen, but though. You know what I mean? Why doesn't he really figure out a way to why doesn't he masturbate twice before he... True. I don't know why, but there's something wrong with that equation where we go, well, if the first one goes too quick, just catch him on the second one. It makes sense to us as guys who have control over our penis... But for some reason, it doesn't seem to work for guys who don't have control the over their penis. Is once they get high levels of arousal, even if they're depleted, they're there, right? You know, and I think they have to really sort of sort of wear themselves down further. Plus, the, the you know the, the by the you know it, it's just it, it's it kind of breaks the moment a little bit for the lady. I think you it know, needs it's a like Corolla, a Corolla, um, what would you call it, uh, program. Of regular masturbation or more frequent masturbation, so it's not that he's yeah. doing it repeatedly with her; that he just is less uh, around there. There, yeah. Geez, I'm a little embarrassed. I uh, got a movie in the mail. You know, my porno movie I ordered. Which one? It's not important to me. It what? must be. It's You're not. so embarrassed you can't even say it. It's got to be incredible. Here's the embarrassing part. Uh-oh. <clears throat> it was on DVD format. Yeah. The DVD, my DVD player. The little... Mysteriously went out. Oh. The, the one that was in the it was in the entertainment unit. Yeah. So uh, I pulled out that one that uh, our producers got us for a gift a couple of years ago. A little one, yeah. Yeah, except for it's got the uh, virtual reality goggles with it. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god that would have been a great shot oh my god that would have been one of it would just, walked just, in? Who walked nobody in? nobody but I, i'll tell you what what a picture you with the star trek glasses with, <laughs> taser in one hand penis, oh, penis in the oh. other I just thought, oh my oh. God, I've just, uh, I've just sunken down to new lows now. Did, what what did yeah. you, you, I was, did, you didn't yeah. do it? Oh no, no. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high? Are you high? Just nobody walked in. <laughs> no, but it's still just, uh. Did it break your concentration for a second thinking about the. With the goggles yeah. and stuff? <laughs> it just, uh. It was just a, you know, it was a mess. What was the film? I, I, you've never heard of it. It's nothing, nothing, you know. 
Mm, not even comical not sounding. Right. Yeah. Who is number one? No, well, it wasn't even Minka. Oh. But don't, don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want Minka to hear me talking about that and get jealous. Come over here. Knock me over with one of her uh, triple E cans. Who is number one? Um, I was calling. I'm 20. Go. And I guess I live a pretty sheltered life. Um, mm. Because recently my uncle had passed away and I was really, really close to him. Oof. And he was found in his home nude with a, a, a zip, a releasable zip tie around his neck. Oh. And, um, oh, yeah, this is this is a case in point for your service. Uh, yeah. What was yeah. that cleanup service called? Um, rest in peace. It rest assured. Rest assured. Yeah. But, see, if you subscribe to my service, twenty-two dollars a month. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When you kick off, uh, we come in and clean things up just a little bit before the folks uh, come in and find you with the uh, junk in the hand and the ziplock on the head. Um. Oh. I would have uh, clothed him, put him on the sofa, put a Bible in the slab. And uh, removed all pornography from the house yeah. before the authorities showed up. Oh well, I, I don't know exactly all in detail because I, like I said, I must live a shelter. Well, who told you about this much? Well, um, why was that public knowledge? Yeah. Um. Well, it, actually, I was at his house. Like we, my uncle. You found him. Our, we have a very close family, Did and you I find had him? we. My, my, we hadn't heard from my uncle in a day. So my mom called me and told me that she was going to stop by my uncle's house. Oh, why? And she walked by, went to his house, and the door was open, and she pushed open and found him. Oh, and you were there with her? Well, she called me on her cell phone, and she was panicking, so I left work and rushed out there. Oh. By the time I got there, the coroners were there, and I saw him. This wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why was the front door open? It, it was unlocked, and she knocked because his truck was there, and she pushed open the door, and there he was. She went in. How old was he? Um, he was 37. Mm. Anyway, he was my right. godfather, so I didn't really know this side. He, he was your godfather? Yeah, and he was supposed to walk me down the aisle. He's been like my father figure. There's going to be a bogus quality of this. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> asking a little too much. Or... No, not like that. But, you know, he'd always been there. Hold on a second. Hold, Hold on, on a second. second. should push that a little too hard. You know what I'm saying? Too, too many. Too many, yeah. Too many. Uh, it's getting becoming too ironic, right, too bizarre. right. Push your door open, call on the cell phone, ironic asphyxiation. Walk me down the aisle, it was Godfather, Godfather and walk me down What the happened aisle. to your Godfather? I died of ironic asphyxiation. <laughs> Same here. Same thing happened. That's how my Godfather went. All right, let's okay. see what the question is. All right. So the question is... So the question is, how do people get involved in something like is or is of erotic asphyxiation? I mean, I, I kind of assume that it has to do with a pornography type of thing, but I don't understand why you would put something around your neck for that type of purpose. All right. Yeah, how right. a person would get involved in that? And what do you mean? What do you mean? You, did he have the bag on his head when you showed well, up? It wasn't a bag. It was a releasable zip tie. Oh, like he was strangling tie. himself yeah. that way. I yeah, see. but they said that it could have been an erotic asphyxiation. What's with a that. zip tie? Uh, a zip tie is something uh, you use to like tie wires together. Oh. Electricians use it. Yeah, but, like does, but doesn't it locks though, right? You yeah, that, that locks. It's not releasable. No, would... they 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 have like releasable kind. If you I go see. to like Home Depot and stuff like that. And you you uh, examined this instrument sufficiently to know exactly how it is now. Is now? Well, I got a copy of the coroner's report because I was. I didn't have any closure. I needed to know what happened. All right. Well, let me just answer the question. Okay. Is this qualities about your story that sort of don't work for us, but be that as it may. Um, what people do is they find ways to cut off the oxygen supply to their brain because it intensifies orgasm. It gives sort of a hallucinatory, euphoric experience. Uh, it's what many other things like sniffing glue and these sorts of uh, things can do as well. It just basically cuts the oxygen supply off your brain and... It's probably what the white light is that you see when you're dying, when you have no blood pressure. It's just your brain gives you these intense experiences. And if you had, somebody's discovered that if you had orgasm to that, it's pretty intense. So he must have liked what that was. And well, I'm sorry that happened. He died doing what he loved. God's work. Can you, can you imagine him finding me tonight with my, uh, I, that's what I was thinking. Night with vision <laughs> porn goggles on. <laughs> He had a massive coronary, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, our hypothesis is that the uh, surround sound, the um, the sensory deprivation goggles he had on, uh, overwhelmed just, just became too much, too much, and it was the eighth time he beat off. <laughs> uh, 
as much as best as we can tell from the scene, uh, the reason the lamp's knocked over, she probably pulled a calf muscle uh, about uh, four minutes into um, his masturbatory session. Well, said session. But, but apparently he then recovered and moved on. So the lamp, uh, I know, but initially we thought there was a struggle. Well, of course, he wouldn't have never thought of removing the glasses. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. may not have been aware that the lamp was knocked over. I'm telling you, you got to see these things. A DVD with uh, I've never virtual seen that. reality. I've never goggles. seen that. It's crazy. Crazy.